Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today and some coffee. Mm. It is Tuesday evening. I'm home from, or done with work. I didn't go out for work today. It's quarter seven. I had to run some errands and I'm feeling festive. So I put my Whoville sweatshirt on that I made because I love it. Now, before we get started, I got some lovely things in the mail and I wanted to thank those people who sent them. And as always, I appreciate anything you send me, but please don't feel obligated because I know we're all struggling. This is from Anne. She sent me this beautiful package in this Dollar Tree bag. A lovely note, which I appreciate. And then look at this with the bicycle on it. It's a great box. And inside are some Halloween lights. I will be using those next year. Uh, some sugar-free candy. Thank you very much. Oh, she found two of these little kitty cat trinket cups. I love these. I think they're great. I put one on my, um, my end table for my jewelry at night. But the cat broke one, so that's good. Some face wipes. I love these. If you have not tried these, I'm going to take it out and show you. These are fantastic. I use these all the time. So they're technically makeup erasers, but I just use them at night to wash my face. And I don't have to use soap. Because my skin gets very dry. And so I don't put a lot of products on it of the moisturizer. But they're so soft. Oh. And when they're wet, they do wonderful to get all the stuff off your face. And then I just throw them in the washer and air dry. Also, if you have a little girl, that'd make a great Barbie rug. <laughs> Thank you. I love those. Oh, and some more lights. Oh, purple. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I can't wait to put this all to good use. I'm still in my basement. We're going to try this again. You have, well, you will probably see these videos in a different order. But... Oh, sorry, allergies. Uh, what I had said, and you'll see in a future video, I'm trying out down here. This is my finished basement, like a spare room. So my shelving unit's a mess. I'm going to fix it. It's going to be festive at some point, but I want to see how the lighting is and how I like the recording down here. And then this way it keeps the mess out of my living room. Right. Okay. So I received a card and I ripped it, but it's from Shelly. Oh, please. That is my Alex. I love it. And you wrote a very nice note and I appreciate it. And look what she sent me in this little bag. It is everything guys. Watch. Okay. So you take it out and there's a little note that says handmade with love, sticker book and bookmarks. Look at the bookmark with the little blingy on the end. Guys, and I am a big time book reader, and so this is fantastic. This is gonna be perfect, because I got books going and I love bookmarks. And then look at this book. I love the fabric, and you open it up and there's all kinds of stickers, and I will be using these in my planner. How exciting is that? And I think this is like a wax paper. Yeah, it is. And so this is like genius because then you can peel the stickers off and I can put more stickers on if I want. And I'm a huge planner girl. I love my stickers for my planner. And isn't that fantastic? And it says sticker book on it. Oh, and I love this. Thank you so much. And I'm keeping this little bag too. It's going to go into... Um, a little junk journal that I want to start. So I'm keeping that bag too. And then last, last, maybe last. No, not last from Laura in Canada. Oh, thank you, Laura. She sent me some Canada stickers and you know what? I'm going back twice next year. I'm going to one time to Toronto area, Brampton, Brampton, Ontario. And then one time in London, Ontario. Uh, so these are going to be perfect to decorate my planner. Oh, I love it. I have plenty of stickers now. I might even share some. Maybe. That is a strong maybe. And thank you so very much. I'm excited 
because I'm getting my planner ready for next year and I can go in and decorate my two months. And then I received a lovely package from Gloria. Different, okay, Gloria, yes. And she sent me these stickers, which are fantastic. And these are cherish every memory, cherish the little things, I cherish you. And these are the 3D stickers, I love them. And I cannot wait to use this. This is Ada. And if I am not mistaken, it's 14 count, could be 16 count. But I cannot wait to do, I want to show you're not seeing it because of the plastic. I'm taking it out. I'm taking it out of the plastic. So if you're not familiar, this is a cross stitch. I'm back. My battery died. Uh, but I was telling you about this fantastic Ada with the glitter. And I can't wait to make some Christmas ornaments with it. So thank you all very much for your kind gifts. All right, Dollar Tree time. I found these little bags. They are crossbody with the cord stitched in. And they do have a fantastic zipper, which I think is, these are great. Also, if you don't want to use it as a bag, you can just cut the string off and maybe put some ribbon across and you can use these for like a little notions pouch, makeup, anything you want. You can personalize them. And I did find them in black and this natural, and this is a canvas. So yeah, you can per totally personalize those. So I grabbed those. Um, they came out this year with some different, this is the garland tie. So these are wired, and you get 12 still in the package, but do you see the color difference? I love these. Um, I love making little wreaths. You can do one or two, do them around a circle, and put a little red bow, and you can make like super cheap, effective little um, wreaths for it. Like for a little, maybe a 12, I'm sorry, a four foot or a three foot Christmas tree. You can make some wreaths and hang up on as ornaments or do whatever. I love them. So I bought two because I like to have them on hand for crafting purposes. Trash bags. Okay, this I think is new as well this year. These bigger bags. This is made out of I don't know what the fabric is, but it's, I mean, it's definitely solid, but it's not like canvas. And it just, this one says, wishing you peace and joy this holiday season. And you get two bags. And I think these would be great for little gift wrapping ideas. Put packages in and tie them up and they would look really cute under your tree. I need a thumbnail. So I grabbed those. Um, I'm sending stuff on its merry way this year, a few things. So um, fun fact, I bought sugar. I don't ever buy sugar, so I just wanted a little pack of it. But I'm going to try to make some keto with yeast. And you need a little bit of sugar to activate the yeast. So I just grabbed that just for some cooking. And then I think I'm just trying to make sure I don't break anything. So I think there's some, yeah, there's some glass in here. So let us, and this is a repeat buy. I know I've had these before and I could only find one of them. I'm not sure what I did, but um, I bought some gold and white candles tapered and these fit perfectly in here on my mantle. And I wanted to put two and I didn't have two, so I bought two. I'm debating, it's for Christmas, so I'm debating if I want to potentially um, spray paint them, but for now, clear it is. And somebody let their child go through and pop all the stickers on the bottom, so I'm going to have a fun time removing these tags when it, the time comes, and I'll run them through my dishwasher. I still can't figure out why all Dollar Tree's glass feels oily. It just feels gross, like it's not just dirty, but it feels like there's oil on it. Sorry, I had stuck my finger. Um, in the little baking section, they had cocoa. And cocoa actually, as long as it's sugar-free, is very low in carbohydrates. So this is, the ingredient is just natural cocoa. So there's no sugar in here. This is not hot chocolate. It's for baking. And I can make keto treats. And this is perfect for me. It's one cup. And that's like perfect. So I grabbed that. Um, I also grabbed some ground sage because I didn't have any the other day. And I was like, I need some sage. It's it's fall time. I need some sage. So I grabbed some sage. 
And then they have these cute little kits. This is the Baker's Field, which I've been finding stuff at my store. And this kit comes with um, icing ready to use, colored sugars, pearls, and one flat paddle. Do you think we can get it open? I just really wanted to see what was in it. Um, especially if you're doing like any kind of cookie decorating. Oh, there's a cookie in it. Now I gotta go buy more. I had no idea. Oh, my cookie's burnt. You get a cookie. I thought it was just the, the supplies, but then you get frosting. So you get a red and a white frosting, green sprinkles, little candies, and a little spreader. I am dying here. This is so cute. Okay, I need to get some more of these little kits. And I don't even remember which store I got them in. Because it doesn't say that it includes, oh, it does. Duh, Lori. One cookie. What is that? I just think that is so fun. Especially if you just have like a little come over and they want to make some cookies or something and you don't want to make an entire batch of cookies that they're not really even going to eat. They're just going to make a mess with it and you're going to have a blast doing it. And then they go about their merry way. Um, I don't want to break the head off of this little ginger dude. So let's get him in his box. I'm so excited. I had no idea. I'm not trying to break him. But I am kind of annoyed that it's burnt. But again, who cares? Nobody's eating the cookie. Um, more on the food front. I, these are the best marshmallows I've been told. So I grabbed a bag of the Jet Puff. Um, I'm doing a gift basket soon. Um, I will make a video of it. It's a raffle, but I'm taking it to my office and we're going to let somebody win it. And it's going to be coffee and hot chocolate themed. And so I needed marshmallows. So I grabbed some marshmallows and you'll see a couple other things. And then I was so excited when I found these. What am I going to do with them? I don't know. Probably give them to my cousin with some beers. You'll see why in a second. But they're Mr. and Mrs. Claus, like Pilsner glasses. I don't know if you can see that. Let's do this. You know, Dollar Tree is always creative with how they wrap things for you. There, I think you should be able to see it now. Aren't these great? And they're just a beer pilsner. I thought that was fantastic. Again, needs to be washed before I give it to anybody. And they're, I mean, it's glass and it's on both sides. It is Christar or Christar. So it's not a green briar, but I don't know what Christar is. It could be another Dollar Tree. Um product. I'm not really sure, but we're going to not put those back in the bag because they will break. Oh, and I have some more here. Let's do this back because there's something in here I needed. Now, I picked up for my cousin and it just says Farm Sweet Farm and it's a pig and it does light up on the back. So my little, my little cousin, she raises pigs. Where's the... Oh, this is this weird thing where you have to turn it. Well, I'm not turning it, but anyway, it lights up. But my little cousin um, raises pigs for 4-H and I'm like, oh, she needs that. So I grabbed that for her. Um, I picked up one of these tree rings, collars, sorry. I know I have some, well, let's put it this way. I know I bought some, but I don't know if I donated them at the end of the year because sometimes I just buy so much stuff that I just donate it because I can't, I don't have a need for all the things sometimes that I buy. So that's why I give a lot of this stuff away because I'm like, I don't, I don't have a need for all of this. But I actually am putting a tree in my bedroom this year, a little tree, and I'm hoping that this will work. But I got a skirt as well, so we'll figure that out. Um, but I, they had them back at my store, so I grabbed them. Um, I grabbed this basket. It's just a gray basket, but this is what I'm going to set up. 
the hot chocolate and coffee um, raffle basket with is this basket. We've, we've all seen it, but they're nice quality. Um, I also picked up for said basket and it's not all going to go in there, but some of this will. I grabbed the Chips Ahoy and they also had the, um, the golden Oreos and these are fun, like just single servings. So what I'll do is put the hot chocolate, the coffee and the main things. And then I will fill in with any of these cookies, uh, Nutter Butters. And then whatever doesn't fit, I will put in a different basket for somebody else. And then I got chocolate Oreos. They were $1.25, but I thought hot chocolate cookies, it'll be fine. It'll be fun. Um, okay, now, this I purchased. We're going to see if it even works. It's a lock, obviously. I work part-time. I'm sure most of you know if you've been around for a while. I have a part-time job, and at said part-time job, we're not supposed to carry bags around, but it's like, what am I going to do with my car keys? Somebody needs to explain this to me, why you would wire keys but whatever, I'm getting it off, I'm taking it off. But I need a lock to put on the locker so that people don't take my things. I had had my purse stolen there by a cleaning crew person and my I didn't care what was in this bag, but my car keys, so. All right, oh yeah, so that works. I mean, it's gonna be a deterrent is what it's going to be. But that's all I need is a little tiny lock that I can put on the locker and keep my bag in there with my purse and car keys. So that's perfect. Then I started collecting stocking and advent calendar fillers. So I did the video for Sarah's advent calendar and I'm starting to buy fillers and I thought this was hysterical. These are Bliss Techs. This is mint Bliss Tech and we love chapstick. And this is Bliss Tech Berry, but together they're like a a red and green so those will go in one day and then I have for her that will go in another day it's a little zip bag that holds your chapstick and you click it on your backpack or your purse or something and then she will always have her chapstick so I've got that for her um she doesn't watch my videos and then I picked up for two different people the Godiva caramels um you know is it a great deal probably not but is it perfect for like gift giving absolutely these are great for little gift bags and that's kind of, i'm just gonna put all the food together i think but that's kind of you know the name of the game when you're trying to buy small stocking stuff or gift basket stuff so oh i have one more and this one is for me i knew i had another one so i grabbed myself one and we're gonna try it because I love mint chapstick, or I guess chapstick is the brand. I like mint uh, lip balms, and I get very dry in the winter time. I can smell it. Can I feel it? Mmm, that's pretty good. So, it's not as minty as the Burt's Bees peppermint that I have, and it's not as minty as just the straight Burt's Bees, but it's not terrible. And it's tingly, which is what I like. So this is great. If you like a mint chapstick or a lip balm and you don't want to spend $4 a tube, it's $1.25. So that one's mine. And then I found one more of the Nerds. This is just some strawberry. I buy this all the time. I need to drink more water. Um, I found something very interesting. It is made in China, distributed by Seelor LLP. It's a shoe cleaning kit. And I'm gonna show you what's in it because I think this is a fun gift as well. So it tells me on the outside that it, it's a cleaning solution, cleaning brush, microfiber cloth, and four cleaning wipes. So in this bag, and it's a pretty heavy duty bag too, by the way. I mean, it's like, yeah, it's real thick. You get shoe cleaner and directions. Tells you what to do. A shoe brush, which is great to like scrub, especially tennis shoes. It's nice and rough, which is good to get your dirt out. You get shoe wipes. 
And then um, it has some pro tips. And then this cleaning cloth, which is microfiber. Which is nice quality. That's lovely. I mean, definitely this is better than I anticipated for $1.25. And this is great, too, when you spend, you know, $200 on a pair of Nike Air Jordan, whatever the heck they are for your kids, and you want to keep them clean. This is fantastic. Plus, you could use it for a million other things. It doesn't have to just be for shoes. But if you see that, I would certainly grab it, especially if you're buying your kid an expensive pair of tennis shoes for Christmas or the white leather ones. This would be fantastic. I'm gonna keep it under my kitchen sink. You know, if my shoes get gross, I know where to go. Okay, we're up, we're coming down to the pie. Oh, I found these, which I think are super fun. So, and I was actually looking at these on Amazon. Now, I don't know that these are the best quality again, but you hook this on your seat rest. And then it ha you can hang a purse, so there's two of them. So you can reach behind and hang your purse on the passenger seat or the vice versa, or hang your shopping bags and it keeps everything off the floor. You can hook anything. I know, fun. They have like rainbows and fruit and I got stars, but we'll see. I was looking at these for when I travel. And if I go by myself, it's nice to be able to reach my purse and it's just hanging behind me. We need more coffee and it's getting cold. Okay, next. I feel like I had more, but I mean, there was a lot in this basket of snacks, snacks. And I get uber focused this time of year on like, I need Christmas, it's time for Christmas stuff. All right, I have seen these going around, but my, my stores have never had them. And it's just a wreath, a plain wreath. You could snip it and take the beads off if you wanted because they are not connected, but you can also paint it. But it's just the base to a wreath. You put a bow up here or put some greenery down here and maybe one of those little wooden houses and you've got a beautiful front door wreath that's, or I probably do like that. Although, no, I would do it like this to hang it because your beads, it doesn't matter, Lori. It doesn't matter, I got, I got two. But I thought these were great. Uh, I'm thinking like a winter wreath for my front door or spring. This would be fun for spring as well. Um, if you did a winter one, you could just wrap some greenery around it or some like dry branches or something. But it definitely gives me farmhouse vibes. And for $1.25, you're not beating that. Speaking of, what is that? Sign blanks. And they're the rustic, you know. The plank, to, and this is actual, it's like molding. But I got two of those as well because I thought I could make a fun, you know, make some fun signs on these. I love round shapes for signs. Um, now they're not giant by any means, but they're definitely not tiny either. And I think these would be fun. If you have like some children, had some children. If you had kids, you could put their name on it for their door or like do not enter and, or put something on the back and then flip it over. I don't know. I think it would be a lot of fun. And this can come off. It's just stapled on. So if the farmhouse is not your vibe, you could totally do this in black and paint this white. I mean, there's a million things you could do. I bet you could pry it off as well and glue the frame to the backside so you don't have this wooden plank effect if that's not your feel. But I thought that was great. For $1.25, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but I just felt like something is, something's going to happen. Something's gonna happen at some point. Maybe not Christmas related, but at some point. Now, um, I, this is the first time I've seen in, since a, a year, Russell Stover's The Sugar Free at my Dollar Tree. And these are their, their version of the m and It's not a great bargain. Um, and I would definitely tell you if you are sensitive to um, sugar alcohol, these are probably not for you because there is 32 grams of sugar alcohol that could cause you some serious um, intestinal distress. How about that? So I will be careful. This is a one serving bag, but I would probably not eat this whole serving at one time. Hi, Ann. what's up Wellington? 
my deaf cat is talking to me. Um, if you saw before, I picked up these on my last haul and I found two more of just the stars and I wanted three of something. Either the snowflake or the star. I wanted something kind of plain. So I grabbed two more. So now I have, hi, what do you need? I have three stars now. Do you say hello to our friends? Can you say hello? Now what are we doing? They are, they're weirded out with me being in the basement. I never come down here. Anyway, so I grabbed two of those. Um, you know, you, you're supposed to plug it in and they light up from the inside. I don't know if that's necessary. Hi. If that's necessary if my for my use because I light up my front window, but I'm going to try. I don't know if I'll go around and turn them on and off. Every Ow. Sir, that is not kind of you. Thank you. Somebody's getting a little handsy down here. Um, okay. Grab these while you can. These are the giant gift bags. They're like the size of a trash bag. I think you can put a bike in these. Here's what I do. First of all, I have a large gift that I'm putting in here. Hi. <laughs> I have a large gift that I need to wrap. So this is what, okay, nobody wants to see that. Get down, sir. Um, so I bought it for that. But you know what these are fantastic for? Don't tell anybody I told you this, but Christmas morning, use them as a trash bag. You now have a festive trash bag and this sucker will hold all of your gift wrap. If you've got a lot of people doing Christmas, Christmas Eve, whenever, if you have a gathering, aren't these so fun? That's what we use them for. When I had the nieces and we had a larger family gatherings, I'd pull out a couple of these and this was our trash bag. And everybody would just, you know, one side of the room would have one and you would unwrap your present and put your trash right in the bag. Hi, okay. Okay, okay. I don't know what you need, but we're gonna talk about it. In the craft section, I found this. What it is, is you put your paint in here, so you can do like little sections of acrylic paints down here, and then your water in here. So if you're painting with multiple children or adults, you have all your paints laid out, and then your water goes in here, and then this whole thing, I believe, I'm gonna say it can go in the dishwasher. Am I making that up? Yes, I am making it up. But I'm feeling like you could totally wash it. Buddy, can you stop? I'm almost done. I am almost done. I think he smells something. Here. I have two of them. One of them is for the boys. Is that not the best Christmas toy ever? So I'm sending some a package of toys to my brother's cats and his his cats are kittens still they're just a year old and they will love this but it's candy gate striped what do you think baby what do you think huh so I grabbed two I'll give my boys one they won't play with it but it makes me feel good to give them presents so I will but one will go to my brother's um, rotten little kittens that are freaking adorable, but they're terrible little cats, let me tell you. Because they're kittens. And they're just terrible. Um, I picked up some gift card packages. They're just like ornaments. I can take them out. I'll take this one out. I, um, I'm not a huge gift card giver, but with my brother and his wife living far away now, so it just holds a gift card, but you can hang it on the tree or I will tie it on the package that I have for each of them. And I'm getting them, one will get this one, one will get this one. And I just think they're freaking adorable. And they also, I think, do they have a Santa? Maybe, I don't know. I just, and I don't know if they're new or not. I can't remember from last year, but I liked that you could, you know, tie them onto a package and you get two for your $1.25. Okay, we just have a couple other things here. Um, I'm sorry, Dollar Tree. Who are you with icicle lights? You get one, two, three, four. There are five icicles that will light up. What the heck? Like, this has got to happen. I don't know where it's going to hang, and I don't care. It's going to happen. So I grabbed the icicle lights, and I have the snowflakes. And then I grabbed this which is silver wire, gold wire. I think it's silver, just the wired lights. 
because I think when I do cross stitch projects and I finish, I'm trying to let you see the dang light. Here, we'll just do this the right way because now he's he has new attention. Okay, these are, oh, they're plastic coated and they light up. Obviously that's how they work, but um, I'm thinking putting these on a cross stitch display. Like when I, when I do a finish of my cross stitch in a frame or standing up, that I'll use that to light it up. I know, I know, tell me I'm not crazy. Um, they came back out with these little spatulas, which I absolutely love. These are fantastic, not just for Christmas. Um, think about you getting stuff out of your mayonnaise jar, but they're also good for like decorating, stirring, serving. They're great. They're just little spatulas, but, um, I enjoy them and I, you know, they don't last forever because I put them in my dishwasher. I think you're allowed to put them in your dishwasher, but it definitely shortens the shelf life, if you will. So, but I don't mind. Um, I found this. Have you seen these at your store? Because this is the first time I've seen them. And why all the stuff that silicone has to be hot pink, I don't know. But this is, if you don't know what it is, I'm like flashing it around, is a glue gun silicone mat. So you set your glue gun on it and then, oh, it's taped. I'm going to tape it really so I can't unroll it but it unrolls and it lays out flat and you sit your glue gun on it and if it drips glue it oh my it will um peel right off of here for easy cleanup I'll show you the picture so you just sit your hot glue gun on it and any drippage comes right off and I thought that is fantastic because I am forever putting cards and paper and paper towels under my hot glue gun so I'm thinking this is this is ideal. Why it has to be hot pink, I don't know, but apparently it has to be hot pink. All right, last things I found, and hold on to your hat. What? Dollar Tree, again. These are just pom-poms, but look at how vintage and primitive they look. They're like hairy, and then these ones are glittery. Like, aren't these everything? And I love the colors. And I think these will be so fun. Again, decorating, crafting, whatever. But for me, when I do cross-stitch projects or if I knit up a little something or want to just have a little nose, like these are perfect little gnome noses. Look at that green and red. I love it. So I grabbed one of each. And look at these tiny little ones. So that is it. That is everything that I got this week at my Dollar Trees. Again, they haven't had a whole bunch of stuff out yet. It's kind of trickling in, um, but I do have a Target haul that I picked up some Christmas stuff that I'll have up soon. And I also have a TJ Maxx Home Goods Marshalls. They're all the same store. We know that, right? But I went to the three different stores and I have a video for you of that. And I'm gonna take my little boy upstairs. He said, oh, don't do that lady, don't do that. And we're gonna get ready for bed. So I will talk with you later and you have a fantastic day. Bye.